it's time to introduce our honored guest speaker for the session, uh, Sanjay Kumar uh, from Madfox Fitness. And um, Sanjay will be uh, taking you through um, the kind of tips that he has to provide in terms of uh, how you can start safely and make uh, uh, exercise a safe journey. So if you're ready, Sanjay, over to you. Okay, hi Raj, okay, I'm ready. All right, um, hi everyone. Good morning, a very good morning to everyone. Um, I'm Coach Sanjay. I, I run Metfork Fitness. So it's a, this fitness, uh, group fitness is a group setup, smaller group setup. And so we, it's a smaller group setup. And also this setup is done outdoors mainly, all right? It's outdoors, we don't have any physical location or any space. So we do it in a public park or some covered location, all right? So mainly it's a public area. Okay, so we run uh, programs based on our functional trainings. So what is functional training? Functional training is basically things that we apply in our daily lifestyle, such as squatting, bending, pulling, pushing, it's all basics. So, and from there, we incorporate some strength movements into the workouts and get a benefit out of it. All right, so, um, so today we're going to talk about uh, being fit or getting fit at 50, all right, or for seniors, right? So actually fitness doesn't have to, uh, it don't have to be a very complicated thing. It is a very simple thing, but uh, how we look at it, all right? When we see fitness, we always look at it as a, oh, it's more to a physical look, how it appears and all that, but it's not that. Every person has a different uh, fitness uh, point of view and it can be a different goal that everyone has when it comes to fitness generally everyone talks about losing weight talking about uh, burning calories and all that which is good yes losing weight looking good and all is a bonus point but then how to get there that's the that's the tough part okay not only seniors having the difficulties to get into a workout routine or anything a lot of us having the uh, difficulties actually right so now um we all know the benefits of uh, exercising, okay? So it's to avoid all this, uh, reduce the impact of illness and heart, chronic diseases that's uh, uh, very common, all right? Uh, so the benefits can be uh, also improving your immunity, your digestive, uh, bone density, because as we get older, we, try, we tend to lose some bone density and lower risk of uh, obesity and yeah and the list goes on okay all this list goes on okay and okay and also if this improves your mobility that means you're more mobile you can bend and pick up things more comfortably you won't like struggle uh, not comfortable like sometimes when you're just turning around to pick up something it'll be more easy you won't be like Hacking here and there or stuff like that, right? And your balance. Yep. As you get older, we tend to lose our balance. So when you be more active physically, your balance tends to get better. Strength. Uh, that's the main thing. When you have the strength, you're capable to do everything. Everything becomes easy. All right. And your posture. So now at this era, all our we are tend to we are seated most of the time. And we are always tied up with devices, uh, either work or home or anywhere. So our posture needs to be fixed. So through exercise, posture will get better, definitely. Right? And also risk of falling, that, that falls up your balance part. So when you balance your coordination is well, then risk of falling is something that you don't have to worry much. Okay? All right? And okay. So that would be the physical benefits uh, on the exercising and getting into a workout program and all, all right now on mental side will be more to your well-being uh, it's about how you look at things you'll be more open okay you'll be open to more uh, things okay? uh, the challenges that you face okay so these are falls under your mental uh, apart from that you get a good sleep sleep is very crucial as we get older we need to have a good amount of sleep, all right? So when you sleep, that's when you're recovering. 
your body recovers so that you come back stronger the next day. Every day you wake up, it's a new day. Uh, you feel recharged. You feel better. All right. So sleep. So when you're physically active, your sleep becomes more easier. All right. So and you have also will have a faster sleep. You won't be uh, taking so much longer time to fall asleep. All right. And your sleep will be a good quality sleep, deep sleep. Uh, rather than just having a disturbed sleep, halfway, middle of the day, waking up, middle of the night, right? So, yeah, your sleep will be good. And your confidence. So, this is the confidence part. Uh, things that uh, we think that it's, it's hard to, hey, I can't do this. Uh, I can't go for a job. I can't go for a walk because it's dangerous and all this stuff. Okay, a lot of things might run in our, our mind when we want to start to engage physically. Like, uh, for example, just heading out the park to do a workout, to do a train, just for a walk, simple walk, but a lot of things, oh, it, it might rain, all these small, small obstacles that you will be more prepared for it and you, you will definitely be overcoming it, all right? And this also reduces your stress, uh, depression, so chances for you to manage that. Every one of us will have stress, the depression and all. That's very common, but how you're managing it. Uh, so when you're physically active, you tend to manage them well. You will not uh, fall apart. Or you won't let that stress or depression to just bring you down or that's it. You give up in everything. So, yep. And your brain will function definitely better. Uh, you'll be more alert. You know, you'll think better. All right. Okay. So now the obstacles that we will have during uh, uh, this age, uh, especially at senior age, uh, above 50, we, are, we think we're done, okay. Uh, we, we feel uh, discouraged, okay. We feel uh, discouraged and then uh, we feel a bit too old. Okay. Am, I, am I doing it right? Am I gonna hurt myself because I'm doing this and all? Or, 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 or you might just feel it's boring. It's not my thing, all right? Uh, so. Exercise doesn't have to be very sternness like how you see people doing it in the gym or like lifting too heavy, lifting fast, uh, running fast, doing some crazy things and looking ripped and all. That's, that's, that's all secondary. That's all secondary. All right. But how you want to get started is uh, you try to work what is convenient for you first. You must try to get whether it's convenient for you. Uh, whether you're enjoying it or not. If you join somewhere and you don't enjoy it, for example, you join... Uh, no, uh, sorry, I'm not sharing any slides. Uh, it's going to be a talk. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's, those are the obstacles. So, you might need to see how to... Looking at obstacles. First thing, first will come to mind, uh, I think it's not suitable for me. Second, you will feel like, uh, no, this is, uh, I'm too old for this. Uh, no, this is too boring. I, I don't have patience to spend an hour of a class and come back. No, I don't have all that. Okay. Uh, so like I said, it doesn't have to always be, like that. You, have, you have to be open up to new things and give it a try. For some, some people that who hate ah, this exercise and all, it doesn't work. It's not my type, it's not my thing. Uh, but then when we go and see the doctor and stuff, when as we get old, of course, they will prescribe us to do some light exercises as well. So when the doctor asks you to do some exercise, you, we will follow, all right? You'll follow all this, all right? When we follow them, but how to get yourself engaged with the activity, maybe you can try playing some music, play some music that you like, um, gather a group of people who's like-minded, right? Share the activity, same activity that you guys enjoy together. Get a community, a good community that uh, supports each other. If let's say you missed one day or what, hey, they call you up. Hey, come, let's go for a, a routine, right? And then uh, there's someone there to be accountability for you to do this activity with you, right? Okay, so um, to get yourself started, all right, to get yourself started, uh, of course, uh, even 
any of us, if we are doing our regular medical checkup, yearly uh, annual medical checkup, we should know our health condition. So get a clearance from your physician first, uh, see what he says. But of course, uh, follow a proper uh, checkup. And from there, you try to move on. Uh, first, the clearance, and then your concerns. Like, say you have any limitation. For example, you have some uh, limitation that uh, you can't bend properly or you can't put a pressure on your palms. You can't, you can't place your palms on the floor. You risk mobility or risk some old injuries. Okay, so these are the concerns. And then maybe you have any health issues, asthma or anything goes going on. Okay, so all this, you must uh, have a bit of concern of it. All right, and then uh, most important thing, you also have to listen to your body. Uh, your body will tell you when to uh, slow things down when you're getting started. All right, you gotta slow things down, or you want to push yourself a little bit more. So always listen to your body. Uh, never take uh, exercising or fitness routine as a competition. Oh, I see this guy is doing more. I'll do more like him. No, it's never about that. It's about it's always about you uh, doing something to be better for yourself. That's all. Never about others. It's always about you. You doing it for yourself. All right? You progress gradually. You don't have to look at someone else and, okay, I want to be like that. No, nope, not necessary at all. Okay, Because um, that person might take some time to reach there. All right? It's not that you can't be there. It takes a bit of time. All right? Okay, and then... Uh, yeah, start slow and build up slowly. Right? Okay. Uh, experiment all the things around you. All right. Uh, experiment it uh, with mindfulness. I say, be open. Okay. Maybe some new activity you try out. Okay. Maybe your fitness has never been a exercising has never been a thing in your life. Uh, okay. Maybe I should give it a try. Um, maybe you're a gym goer. Maybe you want to give a try on outdoor sessions. Uh, like how we are doing. Give it a try. It could be a yoga class. It can be anything, all right? As long as you're physically active, it's a good, it's a good start already. It can be as simple as a simple walk, joining some stretching classes, your swimming, your any regular activities, uh, some dancing, some people dancing, any activity that gets you moving, it's good enough, all right? You don't have to be five, six hours. It just needs to be about 30 to 60 minutes. If you can allocate that 30 to 60 minutes, Daily, that would be really, really good. All right. Okay. Uh, now, uh, staying motivated. Yeah, this is the challenge. We all can start any program we want. Okay. I'm joining the gym. This month, I'm joining the gym. But are you going to be consistent? That's a challenge. That's a challenge we will have. Are you going to be consistent? How to be consistent? Right. So, we need to set short-term goals. Aim for small wins. Okay, the first challenge I would say, when you decided to sign up for a fitness class or a gym or anything, once you do that, you will you will get to uh, sorry guys, you will once you decided that you already have a small win there. You already have a small win there. That's one second. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, once you decided, it's a small win there. So you take that win, and now you got to be consistent. Uh, no slacking. If you promise yourself, uh, you schedule yourself three times a week, three times a week, you must show up. You must do it. All right. Okay, so apart from doing that, so how, like, let's say you plan in a week, you're going to do it three times or four times, and you need to reward yourself. Small rewards, just like, okay, accomplishment. Okay, I did this. Uh, the rewards can be like, Buying a new gears for yourself, new shoes, you know, having good food, good meals, right? And also track them. Have a journal, track them. When you went to the gym, when you, when you started your activity, keep a log. Keep a log so you will know. When you track back and look at it, hey, okay, I've done this. But a few months down the road, you have to make sure that you are being consistent to achieve whatever that you're looking to, all right? And your support group, Yep, this is important in support group. Uh, not everyone can do it by themselves. So that's why uh, group accountability, uh, your, 
Yes, correct. No slides. Sorry, guys. No slides. Just casual Q&A. After this, you guys can have a Q&A and all, yeah? All right. So, support group, your community is very important. Um, it can be family, friends, anyone. All right. Or some random strangers can be your... When it comes to fitness, uh, you guys won't believe uh, we have strangers become close to us. We get connected. All right. We get connected. So, yeah. Strangers can become your buddies who keep you accountable for your routines, right? So, yeah. So, support group is very important. So, when you are accounted to it, the support group will definitely make sure you are there and you will feel like, okay, if I don't go, they will be asking about me and all. So, it will be very helpful, okay? And next one will be your nutrition. Nutrition is quite simple, actually. Uh, you don't have to complicate the nutrition. Um, just be mindful on the food that we are taking. If you're good in uh, looking at the labels of food, as long as we avoid processed food, that's good. You can have some whole food, whatever you're cooking in the house, at your home, that's the best dish ever. So just go with that. Um, I'm not going to touch a lot of on the nutrition side, okay? Because we all enjoy to eat, enjoy to uh, have nice meals and all. That's fine. But just like I said, avoid processed food, okay? Don't have them too often. Okay. Uh, that's the nutrition part. Okay. All right. Um, now, some myths about aging. So, when we are aging, what we'll think is, hey, uh, it's no point now I'm doing this. I'm starting this activity now. It's no point. I'm going to get old anyway. So, I'm going to just slow down my system. Uh, no, that's very wrong, actually. As we age, that's when, uh, as we age, that's when we need to move more actually we don't want to slow down our system we don't want to slow down our system so we don't we don't have to be like how we used to be in the younger days like we are fast and all no but we have to still be physically active we don't want to come to a stage or point that uh we become dependent we need to move independently we still need to move independently if let's say some of you having your grandkids and all i'm sure you guys want to they'll be running up and down you want to be able to at least catch up with them. Of course, you can't be as fast as they are. Maybe you can catch up with them. Have some good time with them. If they are playing a games with you or something, you, can't, you, you, you don't want to turn them down by saying, uh, you know, look, uh, Kato, I'm tired. I can't, I can't do with you. But if, let's say, you are joining him, even though you can't be as fast as him, he will be, feel more connected with you. Your, your grandkids or your kids or anyone. They'll be feeling more connected with you, all right? So, yep. So, the I'm getting too old is never. Age, I, I always tell all my clients, age is just a number. So, yep, of course, we might have uh, some uh, uh, worry about the injuries. Like injuries always comes, in, comes and go. So, it's how about we managing it, right? It's always about how you're managing it, uh, how you look at the injuries. Don't look at the injuries as a setback and downfall. We all will have that. But you need to come back again. That's the most important thing. You need to come back. You don't let the injury to just put you off. You stop everything you used to do. If you used to play badminton, make sure. I mean, injuries, you might have some knee pain and all shoulder joints and all. Go get a check. Go get it. Solve the issue. Not stop everything that you have already You'll uh, stop something that you already, always love to do, all right? Maybe some of you love to play badminton, but some injuries have been stopping you, so you don't want to do it anymore. No, try to resolve the issue and have back your fun, okay? So, uh, yeah, some might think that, oh, I'm getting, uh, uh, I'm, I'm aging and the risk of falling, uh, risk of injuries is higher. Yes, actually, at any age, at any age, okay, even a kid, if he falls wrongly or what, they also can get injured. Okay, so it's again how we look at things. How we look at things. We don't think about the negative side first. All right, always uh, we, we try to look at the bright side, the positive side, see how it goes. Enjoy the process. We don't have to be fast to go. Right? And then uh, it can be also be very frustrating. These are the myths. Uh, you, you, maybe you used to be an athlete before this, school athlete or national athlete level, but now it's different when transition from your athletic time up till your working, your commitments and all, you have 
let go too far back. But it becomes very frustrating. I, I, I used to be so good those days, but why am I not able to be as good as those days? A lot of things changes along the way. Our lifestyle change, our uh, age. Of course, if we are aging, okay, we might slow it down, slow us down a little, not totally slowing down a little. And then our metabolism change, our strength, we are not as strong as we used to be. All right, and then our muscle mass drop. Uh, so all this can cause you a bit of frustration. All right. So like I said, do what you can, one step at a time. Kind of small things, like I said, small wins. Go for a small wins. Don't look back when you're 20 years old. When you're 20 years old, of course, we all can do a lot of things. Uh, but let's look at what we can do now. What we can, what we have in the plan now. How we can make ourselves to be more active. All right. So yeah, we are never too old. Start something that uh, we can, a simple routine first, simple routine. Uh, if you think that uh, oh, fitness exercise is very sterner, it looks very sterner, so I'm not ready for that yet, start what is comfortable for you first, all right? So it's an overall thing. Once you get that, uh, once you get that mindset, right? Mindset uh, of getting it done. Okay, I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes today. You said that. And that's it. You're good to go. Right? Okay. So these are the uh, basic benefits and all the uh, uh, obstacles that we always encounter. Right? So if you guys have any questions, can ask me now. Yep. I, I'm going to check the chat now. I see a few questions came in. Sanjay? Yes, yes. So what I'm going to do, Sanjay, is I've, I'm compiling the questions. So don't worry about that. Are you? Oh, okay, pretty... perfect. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, great. So are you pretty uh, much yes. done, or would you like to uh, go on? Yeah. For okay. A... Um. So um. If uh, I'm actually yeah. Okay. All everyone's here. So guys, um, I don't want to make a this um uh, this talk a uh, very boring talk that everyone's seated here. Okay. We just want to try some light movements. I wouldn't call it a sternness exercise or what. Just a light movements that we always do and how we want to just uh, move our body a little, all right? So if you guys are okay, I just need you all to get off the chair and up on your feet, all right? You guys are okay with that, all right? Jump in with me, all right, good. So I'm gonna just warm you, uh, I wouldn't say warm up, just take it easy. Right, don't have to do it. We're gonna just request the movement speed. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a move here. It's like a jumping jack. I don't need every any one of you to jump. I'm just gonna do this with you guys. Move your legs inside and switch legs and to the other side. Switch legs and to the other side. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna do this for one minute. Yeah, we're gonna do this for one minute. Let me time this first. Okay. All right. Get ready. Okay, in position, ready, and go. Just move to the side, move to the side. Yeah, move to the side and bring your arms up. Move to the side and bring your arms up. If you're used to doing jumping jacks and you are comfortable, okay, you can always, you have been doing the jumping jacks all the time, you can go with a slight hops in and out. You can do one at a time, one at a time. But if you find this difficult for you, then you just go back to the normal. All right? So you can do one jumping jack at a time. All right? For those of you who can do it comfortably, maybe you can try one and two. If you're not there, it's okay. Just one. Just one. So you can see the stage of your movements. So this is the basic. You're still moving. Yeah, good. Okay, five seconds more and relax. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, next one. Uh, this is a very fundamental move that we all need to do. We all should be doing it comfortably. If you're not comfortable doing this, you need to start a, uh, at least a, some simple stretching at home. All right? Okay, so very simple. I need you guys to squat. First thing first, you want to stand tall first. Keep your body upright. 
So don't start this way. Don't start with a rounded back. Okay? How you do this? Squeeze your shoulder blades. Okay? Roll your shoulder blade, roll your shoulders back, and squeeze your shoulder blades. Okay? So when you do this, you're already in an upright position. Okay? So from here, hands forward. Okay, another thing guys, uh, I'm not able to show you, your feet, your feet needs to be shoulder width apart. Okay, so place your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, your feet need to be shoulder width apart. Okay, so from here, tight back. I want you guys to, another thing, your feet needs to be flat and intact on the ground throughout this move, throughout the squat. We are doing some squats. Throughout the squat, your feet must be intact to the ground. No lifting the heels off the ground. All right, okay, let's try. So body straight, upright. So remember, you're not slumping. High back, hands forward. Okay, slowly pushing the hips back. Pushing hips back, yeah. Remember, you're not pushing your knees. Uh, Dennis, Dennis, don't push your knees forward. Don't lean forward. You should be pushing the hips back. Yes, correct, good. You need to push your hips back. Very good. Okay, now try to go as slow as you can. Try to go as slow as you can. Okay, slowly come back up. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to do this for one minute. Very slow, very easy. So remember guys, don't push your knees forward. This is wrong. You're loading a different joint already. No, we're using the bigger muscle, bigger joints, bigger muscles to do the work. So sit to the back. So remember, uh, just try to imagine there's a door behind you. How are you going to push the door? You're pushing with your butt. So you push it back. Yes, that's all. Simple as that. You use your butt. Okay, so don't lean forward. All right, let's try again. One minute. Ready, everyone? Ready? And start. Body straight. Okay, slowly down. And up. Good. How long you can go, you adjust accordingly. If you can go lower, Perfect. And up, good. And remind yourself to keep your feet. Your feet must be intact, flat on the floor. No, don't lift your heels off the ground. All right, good. All right, nice, Sheila. Good try there. Good effort there. Very good. Try not to lean your body front. Try not to lean your body front. Keep your body upright and sit to the back more. There you go. Perfect. Good. All right, nice, Dennis. Lower a little bit. Good job, Emily. Nice work. All right, just me nailing it. Very good. All right, chin slowly, yeah, slowly, slowly. See how far you can squat. All right, we have ten seconds more, yeah, ten seconds more. Another two squats, maybe. Okay, perfect. Ouch. Okay, make sure if when it hurts, you should stop. Okay, when it hurts, you should stop. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now, next third move. This is the last move, and we are done. Yeah, this is the last. All right. If you have a desk. Okay, if you have a table with you, I'm using my table here, all right? Uh, so I place my palm for my table here, my desk, okay? I'm just gonna show here. All right, I'm gonna place my palm for my desk. I'm gonna lead, step back, feet wider. Step back and place your feet wider. All right, okay, step back, feet wider. Okay, place your palms shoulder width apart. So you're here, shoulder width apart. Okay, yeah, that's good. And another thing now here, most important thing is your body. You shouldn't be leaning forward or you shouldn't be pushing your butt too high. Body straight, okay, from here. We are aiming to lower ourselves to the table, but with control. All right, very good. If you don't have a table, you can use a wall. Wall is good because if your table is not stable, uh, that might, we don't want any, yeah? So, yep, ready? Let's try this for one. Just bend over, down, yep, you can use the wall. Nice. Chin, yes, you can use the wall, same thing. Just lean forward and press yourself up. Yep, this is a push-up, it's a basic push-up. All right, okay, ready, let's try. Three, two, and go. Just gonna turn off my background for a while. Okay, so, yeah, you guys can see I'm using the chair. Uh, lean forward and up. Lean forward and up. And up. All the way down 
and up. Okay, if you're using the wall, same thing. Just lean close to the wall and push yourself away. Stand back up. Lean close to the wall and push yourself away. Okay, good. We have another 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, nice chin. Nice look there. Dennis, slowly, yeah, slowly. You have good. Your neck, Dennis, keep your neck straight. You want to keep your neck straight, little? All right, nice look, Sheila. Good one. All right, another 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Yep. So these Great. are the basic moves. Involves push, pull, squat, and presses. These are the most fundamental moves that uh, in every every fitness routine should have these uh, fundamental moves, right? Because this is a, this moves applies into our daily routines. All right, pushing things, pulling things, uh, lifting things from the top. All right, so yep, these are more right. the fundamental things that we should be able to perform them without any challenge. All right, so if let's say some of you are having knee, I saw a message, uh, knee pain. Uh, it could be uh, because I won't say it's a it's an injury. I would say the maybe you haven't been uh, active. All right, so when you perform uh, a move out of nowhere, so and plus we never warm up, you're just doing it just as a touch, okay? So you might feel the sudden discomfort on the joint, it shouldn't be any injury there, all right? So, yep, pretty much that's the things that we do, we involve them. So once you progress, once you progress with the squat and all that, so we can try slowly load you guys up some. Um, Acumen, some weights, but that's all secondary. But the whole main idea is to get you moving. You got to move. That's all. So these are the basic uh, fundamental moves that we incorporate in our fitness routines. Mm, you can also start off with walkings. Yep. yep. A lot of uh, walking. Walking is the most underrated uh, exercise. Uh, try to incorporate them. It's so convenient. You can do it with anyone, all right? You can bring your grandkids along with you to walk them. If you have your pet dogs, walk them. Uh, anyone can do it with you, all right? So yeah, it's simple. Uh, if you don't have to start, oh, oh, after I'm doing squats, not so suitable for me, eh, it's okay. Uh, maybe you're not used to it. Maybe it's the first time doing it, so you feel like it's, it's scared. It's a bit, uh, I'm a bit worried, all right? Don't, don't have to worry. We have, uh, I, I, uh, we have a few clients, uh, 70 years old, they are still doing this kind of uh, exercise routines, all right? Uh, like I said, we always, um, apart from just doing it, we also make sure you do it the right way. That's the most important thing. Of course, you want to do something, achieve something, but you make sure that you do it the right way so that uh, you can do it for a longer time, all right? Okay, okay. Sorry yes, to right. stop you there. We have no overrun a little bit. Okay, okay, so we're going to have to get into the Q&A right now. We've got a lot of questions. Oh, I see. Um, okay, can, can, can. This, is, this is definitely an indication of the interest that our participants have in terms of <laughs> <That's good>. getting <laughs> So, um, I won't take much more time. Let's just get into the first question first. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, there's a question here from Jay who says, if I, if I join your trial class, okay. how will you cater for older and less fit people? Will, will we be together with younger, fitter people in the class? Because this person feels that, you know, that sounds a little bit scary when you put someone next to an older person. Correct. Okay, yeah. So, uh, who, who, whose question was that again? Jay. Uh, this is from Jay, yes. Jay. Okay, so Jay, uh, uh, we, we, okay, at the moment, we allocate the session. Okay, the space might be open for everyone. Okay, we have all sort of ages. We have some teenagers, college students, up till some seniors, right? Maybe they're experienced. So some of them, they are more experienced. So what we will do is uh, we'll guide you in person. When, you're, when, you, when you attend the session, uh, we don't just let you do whatever you need to do that. No, we will guide you throughout, all right? Uh, I, will, I will definitely uh, be there to guide you. So the movements, everything, okay, let's say the movement looks a bit intimidated or stuff like that. We will guide you with the modification with the movements. We'll guide you. And you'll do it uh, and make sure you work at your own pace. So uh, if you look at some other people are uh, doing it differently, yes, because they, are, they have a bit of experience. And so for you to start off, we will uh, 
scale it down a little bit. So make the movement a little bit easier for you to achieve. Like push-ups, we do it on the floor. So for you, you might do it on the box, on a wall, to make sure uh, it's, uh, it's doable for you. And from there, you will want to uh, progress yourself. Okay, I want to do this. So you will have a level. You will have a level to... Uh, you have something to in your mind to look up for that, okay, I want to do like this person maybe, or I want to do like this. I want to get a good push-up done on the floor push-up, but I'm not there yet. So, yeah. Uh, again, I always say, do not compare yourself with others. It's always about you. When you decide to attend any, 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 any sessions or joining our group sessions, you do what is within your capability. If any moves, let's say there's any moves that are not comfortable for you, any move that's not comfortable, you can just let me know. We'll attend to you. Uh, our group is catered a small group. We don't take more than 10 people in each and every session. 10 is the max. We don't take more than 10. So you will still get uh, close attention in the sessions. All right. Okay. Thanks, Raj. Great. Yep. Uh, the next question, someone asked this. What's a good time in terms of how many minutes should you dedicate to exercise? Uh, AMS 888 asks if 10 minutes is... Okay good enough to keep fit or not uh 10 minutes if you know what you're doing perfect if you're working at the right zone uh lifting the good amount of weights uh doing a you working on your good uh cardio anaerobic it's good 10 minutes is good, good enough some of our workouts our workouts can be 10 minutes short 12 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes doesn't mean that you're doing a workout for a longer period, it's good. No, not necessary. All right. If it's a low impact, yes, you can do further longer a bit. But let's say you're doing something a bit intense within 10 minutes, it's good. But if let's say uh, you're, you're, you're a bit packed today, but you only have that 10 minutes and you're going for a walk, still it's something that you did for yourself, which is good, which is good. It's better than nothing. Something that 10 minutes, it can be better than nothing. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. We have time for just one last question. And okay. this is from Colin, who says, you said that's now walking is such an underrated uh, fitness exercise. Now, Colin is asking, what's your recommended daily walking distance? Is it five kilometers? Okay. Uh, again, let's go back to time. Five kilometers generally will take you about 50 to 60 minutes. Just a normal pace, yeah? Normal pace. Walking in a normal pace, a five kilometers should take you around 60, 50 to 60 minutes. All right? So if, let's say, you have the 50 to 60 minutes, you go for 5km. If you think I'm having a little short of time, 30 minutes. Make sure it's convenient for you. I can tell you to walk for two hours. I can tell you to clock 10k steps every day. But then, depending on your lifestyle, you might commit to something. You might have work come back home you might have some tasks to perform maybe you need to fetch your kids your grandkids you know so it's based on your convenience okay great um we have a lot of people asking this one other question so i thought i might okay. as well just okay. push this no problem and uh there are quite a number of people who are interested in online uh, classes so do you do okay. that and how do you go about doing that yes we do online do have online classes just that it won't be as good as having the physical classes. That will be the last option. That will be the last option. Hey, I can't travel. This timing is not suitable at all. Yes, we cater for you. Um, to be honest, during online sessions, right, even like this now, I, I, I'm able to see Denise is uh, doing the squats. Okay, I'm able to see Sheila is doing it. So it's, um, it, that, that, that's how the online session works. So I, I, I get to monitor in the screen, uh, which is okay, but I'll still prefer once you have a few physical sessions. At least you understand what the terms that you're using, uh, what's the biomechanics you're working on. Then it'll be more easier for me to guide you online. Because if you, I'm seeing you for the first time and you have zero experience, um, I won't say it's all very hard, but it can be a bit challenging. Because the terms that we use, maybe the adjustment that you want to make, it will take a little bit of time, a longer time than uh, having a face-to-face -face session. That's all. Great, great. Sanjay, thank you so much. That's all we have the time for. Uh, folks, okay. Thank you so much for your interest. Thank you so much for taking part in this. 
And right. Sanjay, thank you for doing this little, uh, giving them a little taste of what's to, to come if they were to join Madbox Fitness as yes, well. Yes, uh, please uh, don't get another thing. A lot of them get a little bit uh, scary when they hear the name Madbox. Uh, please don't be worried. We, when, when we do anything, uh, I always believe in when we do something in our life, we need to have a little bit of fun element, a little bit of craziness. If it's yeah. not there, then there's no excitement, you see. So we want to have that small excitement. That's why we named ourselves Mad Fox. Huh? But then people think that, oh my God, these people are really mad. No, no, we are not. <laughs> we, are, we are normal people. We are just yeah. normal people. All right. Great, great. Sanjay, we're really thankful to you because you've gotten everyone psyched up for the rest of the day um, cool. uh, as right. far as uh, the Amazing Seniors launch is concerned. Thank you once again. Folks, All don't right. forget, uh, please check the, the chat box. The link okay. to uh, get a free trial session is there. So please fill that yep. up and you know, get in touch with Sanjay. And you can try out his classes um, uh, whenever you're available. So thanks again, everyone. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. We'll thanks, Raj. You. Thanks, Jasmine. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Sanjay. All right. Thanks, Jasmine. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Take Have a great care. day. Okay. Guys, we'll take a very quick break at the moment. And we'll come back for the next session, um, which is by uh, Nomura, which is Investing for Retirement, the Japan Experience.